Hello guys, welcome to Tech Mode, and uh, today we are going to learn API testing using Postman, and this is a tutorial regarding Newman Basics. So I have been getting lots of requests, uh, and they want to understand how Newman works, and how many commands, what are the commands, and how to install it, and lots of other things regarding Newman. So let's uh, try to understand Newman and how it plays an important role in Postman. And so if you have uh, any doubt about what is postman and what is API testing and all you can check out my other tutorials where I have uh, Thoroughly covered the topics of API testing with postman And Newman and I will be discussing mainly about Newman in this tutorial. So let's move on to the next slide and so uh, Newman is a basically in simple word you can say it's a command line tool for postman and where you can generate HTML reports JSON as well as XML reports based on the placement collection uh, of your test. For example, you have a certain test uh, written in, the, in your collection and you want to test it out by one by one. And you can use that uh, basically command line tool of this new man to run those collection and getting getting the results in a form of HTML, JSON and XML. And so uh, it's, an, it's basically made to keep a CI in mind and CI is a basically continuous in integration in which for example, if you change something up in a build system, it, and uh, it will automatically. Uh, so you want to run this collection uh, one time or more, uh, more than one time in a day, then and you want to, and you have a continuous integration system. So it's uh, generally made made because of that. And second point is that it's made on a based on Node.js. So you must have installed your Node.js in your system. So it's available for Linux, Windows, and Mac. So let's install it. So if you want to install a new man, you just go first. First of all, you need to install the Node.js module. So you can go to the Node.js.org site and install the latest version. So let's switch to that one. So this is a site, and you can download the LTS version. And if you are in Mac, you could. This is a basically a package file, and you can just install it. And if you are on Windows, it's a basically an exe file uh, where you can just install it. And so next thing you want to install is Newman. So Newman you can install by install uh, running a command of npm install minus z in Newman. So uh, and from the npm basically known node package manager dependency when it is. Uh, you are going to install Newman, and it's very simple process. So make sure you install it before that. So when you have installed it, I uh, let me show you with a demo part. So when you install it and run Newman command. It's going to give you a bunch of options. Yeah, so as you can see, it's giving me a bunch of options that okay, two few arguments. So basically, Newman is installed correctly on your machine and it's working fine. So let's move on to this. Yeah, so let's move on to the next part. So, running a collection, so uh, you can run uh, the collection in of your postman by two methods. So first method is exporting as a JSON file and the second one will be generating the link. So I will be do doing the second part where I will be generating the link and I will be showing you how you can export your collection into a JSON also if you want to work in separate machine or maybe you want to share somewhere and you don't like this uh, collections in URL form. So what you have to do is that for open your postman and this is my collection underscore underscore demo and it has only one request to it. It's a demo request. So click on this arrow icon and click on share and click on play collection link and this is the URL basically where you have you will get your collection. This is your collection right now. And if you want to export it as a JSON, you can just click on here and export as a JSON file. So I will be using those uh, this link basically because I find it very uh, handy. And what you can do is that now close this one second. Yeah, yeah. So it's a very simple command where now uh, Newman run in your collection, and the second argument is minus a dev environment or JSON. So right now I don't have any kind of uh, environment, but if you do have Make sure you export your environment also. So uh, environment is basically this thing, and in the uh, in the 
the previous tutorial i have discussed about how you can use your environment and how you can export it so click on this and manage environment and here you can export your uh, click on by clicking on this link you can download your environment and make sure they are in a same directory for example right now i'm in a new mentors so it will have make sure you have downloaded here your collection so i will be basically running using postman collection so let's run it so i will be typing newman run and after the collection name and it will going to run and will be pro, uh, will be providing me so okay uh, so it's making a first request and this is the result so it's a failed request i know that it's going to be failed and so this is the result that i will be getting it's using newman so let's move on to the slide yeah so more commands i would like to uh, you to explore is that uh, you can use newman run minus h to get the help command and uh, there are a bunch of lots of lots of different commands where you can mention about how you can you have to run everything but they are not much important whenever you are doing, you're running a newman if you are using uh, if you want to use this newman image as a J jenkins and all you have to use certain, certain basic commands and that i have already covered yes so second command if you want minus n where minus n if you want to run it by 50, if you want to run it 15 times suppose you have a collection and you want to run 15 times you can just mention minus n after that there's a number and minus minus bail basically it's going to uh, give you give an uh, it's going to stop the collection if, whenever it's getting the error so so make sure you uh, use minus minus bail very wisely so the last uh, not the last some more command is the using your data file for example sometimes what you guys do have is that you have a particular uh, you have a postman collection where you use a csv file as a, uh, arguments and variable in your request so you can use data file by passing minus d as a data json file so make sure you uh, this file data.json is your is in your current directory where you are running the human collection so i'll show you uh, so this is my uh, collection and this so make sure your data.json is there right that so if you are running from here right so if you want to run for ci or jenkins build it's a very simple one you can just mention newman run your collection or json or maybe a url and by passing minus r it's going to generate certain results in html ca cli json as well as j unit as cases and these these reports are going to be used by jenkins if you want to do as a reporter object if you want to see as a only or html file you can use my only html cli i prefer to use all of them sometimes uh, j unit file as well as json as well as cli it's going to use by different different jenkins plugin to give me more uh, depth view of how about exactly uh, our test cases are done in a different different environment so if you want to learn more about newman on you can go to this link that i have mentioned already and that's all from this slide and if you want to know more about it, check out my other tutorials of postman and do and if you want to know more know, know more about my daily things and thing, you can just check out the scroll test.com and here i have already mentioned different different things regarding uh, api testing and all so do check out and like this and share among your friends thanks for supporting me and we'll see you in the next uh, see you in the next video